bad, man, go real I ride in, ride in some big tall hills Big that checks, big large bills Burn out fifth like 10 car wheels Pull that, pull that, give Ross chills Ten different looks and my looks so kill I get some in the mouth, I feel all grills Heat in the car, that's your song wheels <laughs> Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Leticia and this is Leticia's Life After VSG. Yes, I had vertical sleeve surgery in 2016 and I am on my new journey. Um, I had plastic surgery just two months ago, almost two months ago. So if you haven't been watching, go back, watch and catch up. If you aren't subscribed, stop right now and click the little teeny box in the corner that says subscribe mm -hmm. and smash that notification bell so every time i upload you guys will get a notification all right so like i said i'm almost two months post-op i am exactly today eight weeks if i'm wrong i will correct myself but i will be two months post-op on the 6th of may today is may the first so i'm almost two months post-op <clears throat> and Today, what we're going to talk about, if you've seen the title, is Faha's Compression and Post-Op Care. Okay? Alright, and you know I always bring my receipts, so whatever I'm going to talk about today, I have my receipts. So right now, I'm in my Stage 2 Contour Faha. This is how it fits. And yes, I do wear panties underneath, and sometimes I wear, at night, I'll put a depend or <laughs> adult pamper under there because when you have to take this off really quick and use the bathroom you can make an accident or get wet and I don't have time to be washing my faja every single day all right so we're going to talk about the importance of a compression garment and um, these notes I have on my lap <clears throat> I'm going to be reading from and I don't want to be rude I also have my phone and I always show you guys when I have my phone. Okay, so like I said, we are going to talk about the importance of the Faha, how many I bought, how much money I spent, the real jazz. Because look, we all want this surgery. We all think that, okay, $4,900, $5,000 or whatever your quote is, $6,000, that's nothing but doll baby aftercare is expensive okay and if you're following me on Instagram you already see how I keep you all updated with how many massages I didn't had how much fahas and whatnot um, if you're not following me on Instagram it is touched by Medina underscore VSG doll <laughs> alright so we're gonna talk about how many fahas I had this is my stage one faha which is a garment actually and you can see how messed up it got because after surgery you come out bloody and it's it's stained it's clean but it's stained so that's my stage one faha that i got from the clinic <laughs> don't laugh at this one this is my stage two faha that i got from the clinic and yes i did cut it up because this thing i wore every bit of three days and could not wear it anymore because it was too small on my legs and this thing cost me $140. And I also got this from Medina's Clinic. This is the next stage two Faha that I purchased for myself. Which I didn't find out wasn't a stage two Faha until I got my contour Faha. Which I just showed you. And I also purchased this from a boutique here in Atlanta. And I never wore this one because of the same issue <laughs> as my stage two Faha in... Dominican Republic. So I'm going to speak to you about the importance of your garment and how important it is to know your right size because I wasted money, like a lot of money. I also have this um, <clears throat> waist cincher vest and I actually had this prior to surgery. I had this, this is about four or five years old. All right. All right. So the first reason the compression garment is important, ladies and gentlemen, after liposuction. Suction is because it controls your post-op swelling, okay? The, um, the compression garment, and when I'm looking down, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> the compression garment applies pressure on your tissues, which shifts the balance of these forces towards pushing the fluid back into the veins 
and your lymphatic vessels that carry it back to your heart okay that you hear that that's important <laughs> this helps to minimize the swelling that develops in the first place and helps to speed the reabsorption of the edema fluid that it does collect okay so that's the first reason why it's very important after liposuction guys we are super duper swollen and our bodies are in shock so it's collecting all this fluid and how else to get all this fluid out than to compress the fluid get your massages and get your lymphatic um, system moving okay so that you can pee it out drain it out however all right the second important reason is it prevents collections of fluid when the fat is removed a space is left behind it's called a cavity the same forces that cause a swelling would tend to cause fluid to collect in this space leading to pockets of clear fluid known as seromas okay so your garment helps to release those fluids to push those fluids out the third reason it helps to improve the contour and final appearance okay contour you hear waist missing you hear okay <laughs> I played too much but anyway it, it helps with your final um, appearance and then the fourth reason compression improves your scarring it helps to <clears throat> get those blood vessels and those nerves moving so that you can heal better okay so those are the reasons that is that is important I'm not going to go into full detail I will leave a link in my details box so that you can go and read more about why it's important but I'm gonna go over my files and my experience and what I use to compress and what I use for pain I bought the two things that have been helping me all right so of course I'm in my stage two faha when you go to the Domin Dominican Republic the next week you're going to be in your stage two faha like I said this is my stage one the material is so different like the stage one faha if I put this on right now this is like a pajama it's made very thin very very stretchy and it um, this one has three three hooks on it um, I was already in the third hook when I first got this and when you come out of surgery you're gonna be so swollen that you're gonna think that this thing is hurting you this is actually nothing <laughs> okay and I got this one, like I said, from the DR, from the doctor's office. When I woke up from surgery, I had this on already. So that's my stage one. I'm, and like I said, that one, I'm just speaking of my experience. That was a size extra large. And that thing did nothing. This one. When you get into your stage two, Faha, you can tell the difference in the material. It is thick, tight spandex. Thick. Then it also has a little sheer or softer material for your bottom, especially if you got a BBL. And it has a little opening at the bottom for you to breathe down there and use the bathroom. And let me see, this one also had, this one actually had four hooks. So this would have lasted me a good little bit if it would have fit. The only problem is if your thighs are big like mine, my thighs, I have, I have nice size thighs this wouldn't fit and they don't measure you um for your fahas or your garments in the doctor's office they just have standard sizes small medium large or whatever and this um this was a large so i really think that i should have still been in an extra large because 140 dollars went wasted i can't i can't put this back on i haven't tried in a while but the day that i got back <laughs> from dominican republic i put my um stage one faha back on because that thing was killing me and i'm gonna put a clip in between here my kids trying to help me <laughs> put that faha back on which was impossible it's recording come on i'll see put it oh my god go ahead now all right got it first notch first <coughs> Yes. No. What? <laughs> All right. So next, I purchased this one from Amazon and thought it thought that it really was a stage two. It's so stretchy. <laughs> now that I have my stage two from Contour Faha, this this was nothing. But it did keep me compressed and whatever I needed until I got my contour faha which takes about 14 days to get to you and I'll go over that in a minute 
but this is the same way it has that um, softer material in the butt section and then it had the little opening at the bottom and this one only had one hook and a zipper on the front I ordered this from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description if you would like to order this one however this is just a maybe one to two week wear to get you to the next level and I paid about 70 bucks for this all right now once I went to get a massage and the young lady told me that this was not a stage too far how she showed me this one which I should have tried on in her boutique because I got home and yes I couldn't fit it it's a nice for her but again my thighs my thighs are too big so I'm actually selling this one it's listed on eBay if anybody needs a for her uh, for half the price I paid $85 for this and I put it up for 59 I believe because it's worth it it's a really good for her it's by the brand let it glow and this for her um, is a size extra large and I couldn't fit it so it depends on which brand or who you buy them from whether they'll fit you or not because you need you need to actually have them custom like this one okay so I got this from Contour Fahas and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see I've been wearing this for about three weeks now um, the young lady actually came to my house and did my full body measurements if you don't have a coordinator in your area you can actually do your own measurements but I don't advise that I advise to go to a seamstress they give you a sheet with um would you have to put all your measurements your hip your bust all that jazz or whatever and then your contour faha comes customized so this one fits perfect on my thighs it's not uncomfortable it fits perfect on me and I'm actually on the fourth notch and I have no problems and I'm actually um, due to get it taken in because right now I don't have any foams or anything inside of here but I can fit all of that in here on the fourth notch it's time to get it taken in alrighty so we're going to talk about compression I use for compression I have three lipo foam sheets that came in my beauty in the box bag you can also buy these on Amazon I'll put a um, link in the description below um, they aren't expensive but when you compress you're going to want to put these inside because you're going to have some swelling here some swelling here some swelling here you're going to want to put these inside of your faha <laughs> and I have a video of me doing this that I'll include um, inside of this video but you're going to want to put one here on this side one here on this side and one here under your um, tank top and oh uh, yes always wear a tank top under your faha because you don't want to damage your skin your skin is very very sensitive after um, liposuction so yes you're going to use those three and then this is a lumbar board and it's it's soft and foamy this one is a, is by um, MD MND they have all different brands and you can also get this from Amazon but this goes here and right here in the buttocks area on your back and that compresses that swelling that you're going to get on your back also I got this from my beauty in the box um, <clears throat> bag as well and this is the abdominal board this will go over this foam like this well some people may do it different but this is the way I did it this part is hard and then this part has like a foam over it so I would put it on like this and that would be under my faha as well and I do that at night and sometimes if I'm just in the house and I feel swollen I would compress but lately like you're going to see in the clips from Sunday I went to a car show and I didn't wear my faha just to test my body out and see what it was like and I noticed that when I took my faha off um, a lot of the swelling that I was having and uncomfortableness subsided it went away so all of our bodies are different. I put this on my Instagram on Sunday. All of our bodies are different. Some may need to keep their fall home on 24-7. I'm almost two months. So of course I'm going to try to see what works for me. So leaving my fall off for eight to nine hours, I, I didn't have any discomfort, any pain, any itching, any swelling. But that was me. Don't try <laughs> what everybody else tries. You have to test your body. You have to listen to your body. You have to know your own body. So... I went without my faha, but from now on, 
if I am going to go without my faja, because I did go get a massage yesterday, and my massage therapist, she let me know that even though I didn't have my faja on, she didn't see any major problems. So, kudos to me. I can probably be out my faja more often, but I'm going to be using my waist center vest. And I also have a waist trainer. I really don't like it because the um, it buckles and that hurt like when it's stabbing me in my back but this one is very comfortable and I got this maybe like I said four years ago maybe five <laughs> from this store um, in the mall it's called fashion to figure the brand is Squeam magical lingerie so S is in Sam Q is in Queen U is an umbrella E is an elephant E is an elephant M is in mom that's the brand of this this thing works so whenever I go out, like I'm going to go out today, I'm going to um, leave my Faja home and I will wear this under whatever I'm wearing today. But that's it for the Fajas. Okay, so I have my Faja on. The first thing I do is use these pads. They are supposed to be called points pads, but I use any pad as long as they're long enough. These came in my Beauty in the Box. I had so many, so I didn't buy any post pads. But the first thing I do is I open two of them. And y'all, I'm so swollen right now. Like everything is swollen. All right here. Ooh, this is just bad. Take two of these pads. I peel the strip back on one of them. And then stick it on there like that so they can stay together as friends. These are these two are friends now. And I ooh. Um, this hurts. I have a lot of stretch marks, but I'm going to be working on those. I thought Medina was going to take those with her. I don't know what made me think that when I woke up, Medina was going to have all of these stretch marks with her. <laughs> but anyway, so I take and I stick the post pad around on my side. Then I put it down to cover my scar. Ooh, for some reason, I feel tight. I just got it out the dryer. It don't normally be tight. But I always put my post pad right around my scar. And I'm going to put some more arnica oil. I mean, not arnica oil. Oh, my God. Some more um, Manuka honey in my navel. I took the cotton ball out because I noticed that there are still stitches in there. And I'm going to put the able to run away. All right. So that was two post pads. Here's another one because I am experiencing swelling right here. So what I'm going to do, stick this down in here real conveniently. Because y'all, the pain is real. Another one. And you can reuse these because... Sometimes I'll use them for like two days. I don't like wasting stuff. But I'm going to put that there because I'm swollen all on my side. It's bad. Okay. So before you close your faja up, you want to make sure you put a t-shirt under. I mean, put a t-shirt on first. My hair is in the way. All right. So this is t-shirt I use and it got a little stain on there it's not dirty I just took this out to dry it as well and then you want to stick that I, I normally put it over the pad over the pad as well as in my back I didn't put a pulse pad in my back because I do wear my backboard Oh, y'all, my back hurt. I had my faja off for like an hour. Okay, so I got that like that. The backboard that I use, it's by m and My backboard came in my Beauty in the Box bag of supplies that I had in the Dominican Republic. But you can purchase one of these on Amazon. So this is the backboard. And I just, ooh, y'all, this hurt. I stick it down 
until it gets to like right here, my butt butt. I mean, <laughs> my butt butt, my butt crack, or the top of my butt that goes like that. And then I use these foams. They look dirty, y'all, but I don't wash these things and that don't work. So this is what it is. Um, some people use the wraparound foam, but I think that these are more effective because the other one is just real big and bulky. So I take it and I'll do mine the short way because I have a short torso. If you have a long torso, you will do it this way. But I use these on my side and it'll connect to the front. So I put it like mid point of my navel. So this right here, and I pull this down and tuck it up under there like such. And then the other one. Tuck it up under there like such. And I don't never use this third one, but I am because when I got my massage the other day, my massage therapist told me I need to compress more right here. That's why I have this sport bra on and I'm going to use this. But if it irritates me, I'm probably going to take it off because I have to sleep with all of this. And I put this, the one right here the long way. All right, so now I'm all, everything is on me. I pull my straps up and I just tighten my straps because I'm thinking that's why I'm getting this swelling here because my straps wasn't tight enough to support like to pull everything in and this is my faha that i got from amazon i will link it in my description box oh y'all oh this one has the zipper and hooks give me just a second always hook from the bottom up it's gonna be a little bit harder because i have this one in the middle i should have put it under <laughs> the other two but it's okay because I can't see. Once I get that first hook, I'll be okay. Oh, oof, oof. Jesus, what am I doing? I normally would put my hair back. All right, there we go. First hook. Ooh. Second hook. Ooh, compression, compression, compression is so important, y'all. Third hook. Ooh, I'm not even gonna be able to eat dinner, honey. Ooh, Jesus. All right. There we go. That's it. And this is how you get that swelling up off you. Make sure that's pulled all the way up. And I actually live in my faha. I sleep in my faha. I eat in my faha. I do everything in my faha. Because I am holding a lot of fluid, my faha is saving my life. Now, when I went out yesterday, I didn't want to go out with all my foams and all this compression on because then you look crazy. So I did have my post pads around the bottom and then I had um, my a post pad around the back. That way I can protect this area and then eliminate the fluid that gains on my back. I get needle drained um, two to three times a week. On my lower back, I have a pocket that sits about this big where all my fluid is. I mean, it all gathers there. That is where my drain was. And I feel like I took my drain out too early. And I did mention that in one of my other videos. I thought it was time for my drain to be out. But I think that I could have benefited from my drain standing longer. But anywho, this video is about compression. This is to help the swelling go down and to get that fluid to move out of you and to snatch that waist. Okay. And that's it, y'all. It's real simple. I just wanted to explain why they are important and, and to remind you guys that aftercare is expensive. It's just as expensive as the surgery. I'm on my 22nd massage yesterday. If you add that up, massages are anywhere from $50 to $100 and something dollars. So 
add that up <laughs> okay so i'm going to talk about this cream that i got in the dr this came in my beauty and um beauty in the box bag and i don't know if this is zooming in yeah it zoomed in this is Eubernal cream and you would get, um when i first got this i did not use it because when i read it it says it's an anti-inflammatory ointment for animals I was like, maybe they put this in my bag by accident. Let me show y'all how much I got left now that I realized that this is the bomb. Okay. And you can get this on Amazon. I found it on Amazon, y'all. This works magic. It smells horrible. It has a really, really, really strong smell. But it's magic. I will leave the link where you can purchase this um, from Amazon. If you're in Dominican Republic... Ask your nurse, ask your surgeon, ask somebody to point you in a direction where they sell this and buy five or six of these. Because this works magic. I use this on the daily. Um, I would take just like a fingertip full of the ointment, rub it on my hands. And then I work this area. I do my self massages. Boom, boom. And then on my back, on my back. And then I put my tank top on and close my forehead up. And that releases the pain and the swelling. Okay, so that's why I'm able to be out of my faha because I would still put this on me without my faha. <laughs> okay, and this also, I purchased this at the local flea market. It says foot cream because the size that I purchased for $20, they consider this for the foot, but they all are the same um, <clears throat> in the inside. <laughs> I just got the foot cream because I only wanted to spend $20 to try it for the first time. And this works magic. I'm going to show you how much I have left of this. And I think I've been using this for two weeks. And I use it every day, two to three times a day. Um, I rotate. This is a hemp cream. It's just like a CBD cream, you guys. And this works, works like magic as well. So I just want to let you know. <laughs> you can also get hemp um, cream or CBD cream from anywhere local in your area because it is legal. They use the same things, um, some of the same things that is in um, cannabis, marijuana, and they put it in here. And you guys, when I say the pain and the swelling is so good with these two items that I'm using, you can order um, hemp cream off of Amazon. You can also get it from somebody local in your area. But yeah, so I wanted to go over that. I will include the video from a little clip from this weekend with me um, out and about without my faha. And welcome back to my channel. It's Leticia, and I'm back at you with another video. And y'all, I am still seven weeks, almost eight weeks. I just came to talk to y'all today and just tell y'all how I'm doing. And tell y'all what I've been doing. Guess what? I don't have my faha on, y'all. And I'm not swollen and I feel okay. So just to let y'all know. I'm gonna start um trying to get my body ready to breathe and um, i'm actually at atlanta motor speedway at motorama 2019 this is my second year doing this and i love it it's awesome that's my lovely daughter yep. say hey you two hi you two that's quinaya and it seems like it's gonna get pretty loud around here real soon but today is the last day like i told y'all before this is what we do on the weekend so here is our lineup watch out naya back up back up back up here's our lineup for today we had more cars out here yesterday and more out here earlier today but this is our lineup today come on naya just show y'all what i do like i said my channel is not going to be all based on just weight loss surgery and plastic surgery bbls and all that good stuff getting snatched i'll show y'all what i do so on the weekends this is one of the things i do and these are one of the ladies in our club nice car our little lineup today but i did want to come and tell y'all that i feel great i haven't had my faha on since 7 30 this morning it is now almost what time is it y'all like three four what time is it probably almost five o'clock my phone died so i can't tell y'all the exact time but i haven't had my faha on since 7 30 this morning and i feel great and he won a trophy huh okay but this is our lineup for today 
and I'm just gonna do a little bit of vlogging hold on I'm gonna get my daughter to show y'all how I'm looking so this is seven weeks and if you're on my Instagram you can see this <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you that I did good I'm gonna be honest about everything you know how I am all right so that's it that's all don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend tell your mama tell your cousin tell your sister tell your baby mama if she trying to get snatched like your girl all right all right all right and don't forget y'all to smash that notification bell because i do post and i try to post weekly if it's not twice i try to post at least once and if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram. If y'all already following me and you've been questioning and sending your stuff, you know that I answer right away. So don't be afraid to hit me up in my DM. If you are still sitting in my messages or my notifications, um, friend requests, I'm sorry, what am I talking about? If you're sitting, if your friend request is still pending, it's because you sent me a friend request from a personal page or you're a guy. I delete the guys. <laughs> no. But if you sent me a friend request and I haven't accepted it yet, send me a DM so I know you're coming from my YouTube or I know who you are because if you have a personal page, I'm iffy about it, you're still sitting there. So send me a message. I'm not being funny, but I'm just protecting me. All right. Thank you, dolls. Smooches.